Hello, this is Anne Marie, and it's Tip Top Tuesday, and it's May 14th, 2019. And the topic today is coping skills. I chose this particular topic because I've been noticing my, what I do for my coping skills, but also what other people use. Um, it started when somebody else was um, using their coping skills and said, oh, you know, now things are fine, you know, and uh, they weren't for me. However, um, in introspection, I've kind of worked through all that. So my coping skill is often to use introspection as a way to figure out my part, their part, what's going on with me, my feelings, how to stay focused, da 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 I have also found that some people as coping skills are remarkable in that they just kind of dust off, take the um, wet out of their feathers, you know, like ducks, water off your back, and just move forward, look at these split. And what a great ability to do that, right? So I started thinking about um, kids, and people, and of course, thinking. I'm always a thinker. But anyway, moving forward, um, how it would be just great, and that's what they talk about in terms of being enlightened, to stay in the moment. You know, you can, when you're in the moment, as children often can be, you're in the moment. And it takes away a lot of the heavy burdens of the, that you're carrying because you're not carrying them anymore. You've put them down and you're like opening your heart and, 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 and looking for what's next. And interestingly enough, um, I've been trying to figure out something with my uh, Gmail for the last two hours and not really all that successful. It seems like Safari and Google are having a discussion. Anyway, um, but by doing that, I was so focused on trying to solve that problem that it was almost like a meditation. When I go in the woods sometimes and just am with nature, sometimes my mind wanders, but oftentimes I can just feel the earth in, in, engulfing me with love. And that's such a wonderful gift. And when I come back to the concrete world, I can feel the concrete as I walk. I think it's time I spent more time outside of the city. Anyway, the bottom line is part of being in the moment is trusting. Trusting you're at the right place at the right time doing the right activity. We all have coping skills that we use to not be in the moment, to think that we need this extra protection. But yet, if we were just staying with ourselves in the moment, we don't need protection. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I think it does. I think you know what I mean. It's kind of like the gleefulness, the joyfulness of just being alive. I have a friend like that. He's quite the runner. And man, he's always, Donald, Donald sometimes listens to this. He's always going, and everybody's like, well, gosh, Donald, how do you do it? But I, I think he does it because he wants to be in the moment. So um, th my advice today is to look at your coping skills and see if they're really working for you. And if they're not, try and figure out a new path. So that's it. And have a great Tuesday. So the tip today is coping skills, analyze them, change behavior if needed. If not, hallelujah, and take care. <laughs>